talk to me, spirit. Let's give them something to talk about. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. If you like those words that's coming out of my mouth, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, share, become part of the Talk To Me Spirit family. What it do, fam? What's up? Can your home girl get some love? Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Once again, thank you for holding it down, okay? If you're breathing, you are achieving. Let me tell you something. You are the best thing that ever happened to you. All right? You knew everything. You knew people was not going to like you. You knew people was going to attack you. But you took this position. You took this mission. Okay? And you shall fulfill your prophecy. And you will help people make it to the promised land, which is the new earth. Okay? So I have already sent my team. I am the voice of the voiceless. Let's clear the air, shall we? Breathe in. Release. Head down. Breathe in. Honor the negative and the positive things that's coming to the surface. Head back. Release the negativity. Feel the warmth of your feet planted on the ground. Imagine you are turning to roots. You feel the energy going all through your feet, around your ankles, your calves, in between your thighs, circling your lower abdomen, your upper abdomen. Breathe in. Release. See your heart space opening. See the light gleaming in through the sun, going through your crown, through your third eye, through your third chakra, radiating all through your heart, filling your body with the light. I am that I am. I am unapologetic. I am blessed and highly favored. Breathe in. Release. All right. If I can get up to 2,000 followers, no pressure, no pressure. I'm going to pick four individuals, Spirit and I. Those four individuals will get four different journals and four different waktas or the same waktas. It depends on the energy. Out of those four, you will get a pack of Madura cards. You can keep them for yourself or you can bless somebody else with the Madura cards. All right? As I was upon rising, okay, I always pray, give thanks, okay? Because I am on the other side. I could be pushing up great uh, daisies. So I'm always grateful that I have all my senses. I can move. Okay. I kept saying dirty water, dirty water, dirty water. And I was like, what's up with this dirty water? And then spirit showed me the contaminated food. As you see, everything is being contaminated. First, it started off with the meat. Then it started off with the dairy. Okay, then they said, how can we get to the vegans and the vegetarians? Then they started messing with the fruits and vegetables. Salmonella, listeria, lunch meat, things like that. Then they started with the clothes, putting chemicals in the clothes to bring cancer back. Before, cancer was a big thing. Then HIV and AIDS took over. And then you didn't hear about people catching cancer anymore. Now people are getting cancer and it's very aggressive. They dying quickly, okay? Hepatitis C is coming through. Hepatitis A, hepatitis B. Making up new stuff. New diseases is coming out, okay? New plagues. Um, Let me remind you, remember I said before, in the beginning of 2024, which was in April, I said this is the new exodus. And I said history is going to repeat itself. I said this is a year of Aquarius. A lot of people, this is their season. Seasons of the fivefold ministry, which is teachers, healers, ministers, preachers, prophets, apostles. This is your season. Some of y'all were uh, called at birth in your mother's womb. He knew you. He knew of you. So you was called. That's why some of y'all, when y'all was born, y'all was already activating in your gifts. Everyone has the gift of prophecy, but everybody's not a prophet. Everybody has the gifts. Everyone is gifted, but everyone's not called to utilize their gifts. So this is the rise of the empire. So things are coming too. 
You're going to hear about people getting sick. You're going to hear about a new plague. This is going to be worse than COVID. Okay? They're killing people off. They're trying to distract you while they are making this up with the elite, with the election, with all type of stuff. You're going to hear about a lot of people unaliving each other. All right? Because the enemy knows the time is up. All right, you're going to hear about two presidents dying. One is already dead. But then you got distracted. So they said, no, we're going to say this until around the election time. So y'all focus in on everything else. But one president has already died. And they just haven't told you. They just say he's sick. He needed the time off. And then during this 2025, during the election, when all of us tell a lies to get y'all to pick who's the best liar. Another president is going to die. This one, people are going to take it harder than the first one. It's a lot of distractions because Armageddon's coming. That's why a lot of y'all are, this is your season to rise. Y'all starting to notice things. You're starting to feel spirits. You're starting to be confused. You're asking for help. The right people are going to come and help you. You are the salt of the earth. You got to understand there's a light and a dark. You're going to hear about more churches falling. You're going to be hearing about a lot of fake prophets. Let me tell you about the real prophets and the fake prophets. A chosen person don't say they're chosen. A chosen person don't really want to be chosen. A chosen person don't like bringing attention to their self. So all these people say, I'm the chosen one. A true chosen put one does not say they're chosen because they don't want to be chosen. They didn't want to go through what they had to go through, but they didn't have a choice. So it's like all of y'all are into AI, artificial intelligence. Y'all ain't going to know what's real and what's not. This is a time where you need to meditate. Okay, all my yogi freaks out there, they did something with this past eclipse. So you know that this, has, this is the second eclipse of 2024. This last eclipse that we had in October, the CERN did something. So now when people meditate, it's like they can tap in and it's very demonic. There's a lot of demonic people, shape spirits, shape shifting that you know. So if, if I was you, I would avoid doing yoga at this time. So a lot of it is fasting and praying and meditating. This is what I'm hearing. Things are getting real. Pay attention to your dreams. Okay. God is not the gay of God of chaos. So a spirit is talking to you and you feeling uneasy and you feeling confused. That is not of God. God is not the God of fear. He did not give us the spirit of fear. You need to start paying attention to the energy. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. But you're going to hear about a lot of diseases. There's a new disease coming up. It hasn't hit America yet. But it's going to hit England, it's going to hit Canada, then it's going to hit America. Because they're going to, it's already, when it hits Canada, it's going to come here. And then they ain't going to tell about it because it's going to be the election time. And then it's when it's going to come. And then after the president, whoever the president's going to be, that's when you're going to hear about it. We're going to go into the famine. they messing up the food, they messing with the water. Money's not going to be safe because the banks is getting ready to take a hit. Cash App is already shutting people down. There's a lot of people using Bank America, Chase. Their, their things not adding up. Their money's there saying they have negative, and they said no. So there's a lot of things with the banks. So if I was you, I would take money out because money is going to be obsolete. It's going to be very rare. So if I was you, I would take money out and save it. All right? We have release, let go. This is the bladder Madura. Okay? This manure fortifies the bladder, detoxifies, and cleanses. Also, it stimulates the circulation, refreshes the raises one's spirit. Hold your hands under running water and breathe out deeply a few times. Everything which is bothering you is painful or a burden. It's either washed away by the water or you expelled it with vigorous breathing. The elements of air and water take on that you wish to be rid of. Then perform the Madura, and while you form it, imagine yourself to be bathed in pure, radiant light. You are refreshed and cheerful and go on your way with a lighter step. My heart is light. There is spring in my gate. My head is free, and my action leads me to success. Spirit is saying it's time for y'all to release and let go. Release and let go. Now they show telling me about fasting. A lot of y'all need y'all asking for clarification. Y'all need an answer. 
Spirit is saying the answer is within you. So that means you have to go deep in. Some of y'all need to fast one day out of the week. From midnight to the next day, just water and tea. Meditate, read scriptures on your phone, breathe. And then you want to know healing. When you fast, the demons or any attachments have to go because you're purifying yourself. So you're going to start, if you're having problems with your mother and you fast and all of a sudden you get emotional and God or your spirits keep putting your mother in there, it's time to forgive and let go. You're going to forgive your mother, but you're going to let go and love her from a distance. Make your peace because tomorrow's not promised for you or her. So when you fast and a lot of things that's triggering you, it's going to come to the surface. All right. You can hear more. All right. Let's get into the shadow work. One card, please. Get your handy dandy notebook ready. We have six, gaslighting. Do you gaslight others to deflect the responsibility for a mistake you have made? Narcissists can't be healed. Gaslighters can't be healed. A healer's job is not to heal a person. A healer is a giant mirror. So when you go to that person, they see and it triggers them. And it lets them know that's what you need to work on. So you know what? They they hate the healer. So they try to project their stuff on you. They try to switch it and try to bring up your stuff. That's why shadow work is becoming friends with your demons, which is the things that you don't like about yourself. You learn to master that. So when you go to that person, because you can be their karma and you can be their blessing. So when you go to that person, because y'all cross paths, it's destined. It's your faith. When they start to bring up that stuff, you remain silent and you smile because it no longer triggers you. So they don't have a choice to reflect back because they look stupid arguing by themselves. You use psychology ma manipulation to create self-doubt and confusion in people's mind. You can't. You cannot heal it. A narcissist. A, mar a narcissist will quick to deny that they, they messed up, but they try to switch it on you. Like if you're trying to talk to somebody and you trust this person, your mother or father can be a narcissist. And you say, I need to vent. Let me talk to my mother or my father. Next thing they say, it's always about you. And you look and you're like, it's never always about me. I always listen to you. I always take that criticism. I never live up to your expectation. You don't owe her nothing. If she has something about you always had to bend over backwards in school to make sure you made straight A's, that you was perfect, to satisfy your mother, but she was never satisfied. Spirit saying it's time to heal that. Father too. And let it go because it's weighing you down. You're not the victim. You're the victor. We have the world card. Number 36, 36 breakdown to 9. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. You have completed a cycle, love. And when you complete this cycle, a lot of things cannot go with you. That ticket has your name on it, too. That is not your family. You just relate to it. So you already knew in the, in the realm room, in the spiritual realm room, when you took that oath in blood. It's written in blood in the book of life. In your book of life, it is written. It is witnessed by the angels and it's written by the people on the left, the elders, the oracles, and God. You said, I will come down here to break generational curses to help as many people go to the promised land. But when you went down the loop, you got spiritual amnesia, so you forgot. Sometimes... <coughs> A child is born to teach that parent a karma, to teach that parent something. There's a lot of parents wonder why, like, what did I do wrong to have autism children? What did I do wrong to have children on the spectrum? It's to teach you unconditional love. To teach you unconditional love. One card. What else do they need to know? Bring love into the situation. Love is a verb. Love is a noun.
Prosperity lies ahead. Prosperity does not always mean money. You can be prosperous in many things. Bring love into any situation. Luck is on your side, but Spirit is saying you're heavy burden. A light worker is not supposed to be heavy burden. People are going to not like what you do, and it's okay. You took the road less traveled. They're not going to like you. They're not going to approve of you. But you don't owe nobody an explanation. It's time for you to be unapologetic. Once again, this is the season. Capricorn, Pluto and Capricorn is last year. Scorpio is coming in with death and rebirth. Death is endings. And a lot of things get ready to begin. All right? So Pluto is getting ready to go into Aquarius. Aquarius is a fixed sign. So all my cardinal signs is coming out of that. But if you have any fixed signs, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, and there's one more I can't remember. It's going to be in there for 19 more years. So you still got a lot going on. All right? A lot of people is going to be pouring into you and you're going to be pouring into a lot of people. This is coming in quickly. Love is going the other way. You thought that was love. Like I said, love is a noun. Love is a verb. Sometimes love, you got to love from a distance. Sometimes you choosing you is how you're going to complete a chapter. You're the main character in your story. A lot of things is going to end. A lot of people can't go with you. And this is going to break your heart. But you're becoming that leader. You're going to start meeting the right people. Sometimes water is thicker than blood. You have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. You're going to meet someone. They say opposites attract. But this is going to be iron shopping iron. Where you lack this person is going to have enough for you. Where he or she lack, you're going to have enough for them. It's going to be iron shopping iron. Y'all going to complete each other. Y'all going to fulfill each other. So a lot of this is coming in. This is a new beginning, new chapter. You sacrifice yourself. You lost yourself in so many relationships. You lost yourself trying to be a people pleaser. That's being, that's ending. You starting to choose you. You starting to see your matter. Everything that you thought was a punishment, everything that you thought was a lacking, was a tower moment to help you grow. That's a testimony. That's a memory stone to help people that's looking up to you. You have people looking up to you that you don't even know because they're not one of the big dogs. Marriage for some, going back to school, spiritual school. Like I said, some of y'all been called to the fivefold ministry because the true uh, prophets, the true preachers, the true evangelists, the true teachers, the true healers are coming up and the fake ones is being exposed. I send you peace, love, and light. I shall.